All right, Mifa, Zora Wellspring, princess of the Zora who possesses a, possesses an incredible healing power. She was childhood friends with Link. Now she's entrusted with piloting divine beast Varuda. Now we've got things. Do you think, at least with this iteration of Zora, do you think when they're born, they're just like full fish? And like the head tail thing is just like what they're born with? And then they slowly sprout like a torso and whatnot from their jaw? Is that. That's gotta be it, right? It's gotta be how this works. Okay. I'm gonna turn some of these in. I'll do this one at the very least. All the better to help my friends. Do not need that image in my head. I was just looking at uh oh hello. I was just looking at at Sidon and he had like a ridiculously long head tail and it's like, well maybe this is how it works though. Dying to make contact. The dying shop can't get a hold of its main supplier. Merchant of Dies. Ah. So this is how we can probably just die Link. You did and nothing well. more. He handed over the gemstone. The informer re revealed himself to be the dye merchant himself. Seems, sounds like a needless runaround to you, but at least the dying shop is restocked. Okay. Change the color of your attire at a nom nominal cost. Hey. Question is, who can we die, Link? And only Link. What if I want to? What if I want to put Daruk in some sweet threads? No. Oh. Ooh. Making a monster. Youth from Hateno Village wants to make make a monster dummy that can use. Uh, he can use for a two-handed weapon practice. Okay. It, this is probably only for Link, though. Mm. Yeah. Improving Link's skill with two-handed weapons. I just. Oh, right. And that was even a Link symbol, so I guess it doesn't matter. Recipe for chili fish soup things. Good work. Damage from fire. Eh. So what else do we have? This one. Do I have to use her? I have to use Mifa for these. Alright. Well, in that case, let's not for a second. Training Ooh. camp. Mifa. Damn. Actually, that's really cheap. That's an incredibly inexpensive means of catching her up to speed. Okay. So in that case, we should probably also get her maybe a better weapon. Looks like the light scale trident is probably fine. Regular attack. Special attack charge rate. Mm -hmm. Probably just do that. <laughs> I'm not actually really sure if that's that helpful. <laughs> Dude, Link's two-handed weapon attacks are crazy. Good to know. <laughs> okay. Do we have... A Druk bonus combo. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, so four Ys and then an X. I'm not going to remember half of these. I'm mostly just going to be flailing. This is normal. Okay, well, we might as well knock these out real quick. Remember all the people who got the light scale trident in Breath of the Wild hoping it'd be an unlockable permanent spear? Breaks instantly, the biggest bandles have been ever in a game. I hope they do away with the breakable weapons in Breath of the Wild 2. I love the idea of it, but the problem is it mostly just meant that all weapons were throwaway. I think it would have been... No, I don't know. I, I think breakable weapons works better in survival crafting games. 
And that, yeah, even the really cool weapons broke so fast. Okay. So her air attacks are also stupid. There we go. Bye, Marvin. See you later. <laughs> Holy shit. If it weren't for Daruk, I'd use her more. But as it stands, I've got Daruk. The just wide scale monstrosity. Oh, that's a tree. I had no idea I could do that. Bye. If she's not quite as ridiculous as Impa. Impa, Impa was goofy. And I, I liked playing as her. It was a little awkward keeping her summons up. But like, flip side, this is just silly. I, I think the real answer is just like, when it boils down to it, it's very hard for me to want to go back to playing Link for any reason. And I wonder if this is a kind of a problem with uh, a lot of Musou games where you're like, your basic starting like player characters are always the ones that end, end up getting kind of shafted just in terms of like uh, raw gameplay because they have to be a little bit more normal at start. Whereas every subsequent character you unlock could get goofier and goofier and it'd be fine. She fights even faster than Daruk to some degree. I think it's switching them to the mission points and then, uh, sending them to the mission points and then switching the lazy man's chill way. Yeah, but then I don't get to be, uh, Katamari Daruksi. Okay, bonus combo for Mifa. All the better to help my friends. We had some interesting variants in the original Hyrule Warriors. I maybe at some point over this winter we will go back and actually play through uh, the original one. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. But if I do, I'd like to. I like it was fun. It was definitely clunkier than this one. Buzzard. Oh hey, we can buy palm fruits, all ah. of them. Ah. 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 Might as well just load ah. up on a lot of really cheap <laughs> bits all over the place. Okay. So now we can turn this one in. I will not rest on my lawns. More HP. And Okay. I'm mastering Magnesis, so I think I can use anybody for this one. Well. Leave it to me. Absolutely always big man.
How was the winter with snow? We don't get snow here. I don't really get much for snow here either. Uh, or Oregon doesn't strike me as a particularly snowy state, unless you're up in the mountains or something. It it really does kind of depend on where you live. I used to live in uh, the mountains of New Mexico, and winter was just like it would bury us, and it was so good. Oh, I can actually control it. Can I do anything else with it? Nope. That's the way. I mean, I guess that kind of works. Yeah, I could do Magnesis. Or, I could just be Daruk. That is, you can just endlessly loop ramps. I had no idea. Well, I could endlessly loop ramps, or I could blow the heck, uh, blow everything the heck up. Did I win already? Or at least I completed that objective. It's over. That's the way. There we go. Bye. Hello. I am Daruk. Get ready for Smash. And why is Daruk not a Smash Bros. character? He'd be good. I might actually play Smash Bros. now. I wouldn't actually play Smash Bros. Challenge you not to use Daruk for the next two battles. The thing about challenges, there has to be some kind of ki consideration. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, yeah. That makes it worth it. You can't just challenge a person and just assume they're going to do it. You gotta sweeten the pot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, God, this. It's over. Yeah. Where are my enemies? Should there not be more people to fight me here? Yeah. But no, the the only way we're gonna. Okay, seriously, where is everyone? I mean, luckily they. Okay, here they are. I won. Yeah. There we go. The only way I'm switching away from Daruk. Uh, let's see. Switching away from Daruk willingly is if uh, I get to play a Sidon or Eggbot. And I sincerely hope I get the ability to play as either and or both. Defeat the Mobbin. Stasis. Oop. That's the wrong move. Unfortunately, I often mistake, uh, me Let's see. There we go. That's the way. Oh, yeah. I often mistake stasis for magnesis. I don't know why. Sidon riding Eggbot. Now that... That would be... That would be peak Age of Calamity there. If I could get that... Oh, it'd be, that'd be good. I would be a happy camper if that was if that was a thing. All right, is that it? Looks like it. All right. Well, let's continue to leave character I do not care about for last. Like straight up, I I barely even remember the Rudo or the Rito location, <laughs> and I barely remember Rivali. He was such a like. I'm not going to say non-issue character, he just... I never... 
I don't know. He was like the... That was the last location I think we went to in Breath of the Wild. And... We just mowed through it so fast. The Gerudo lived in a settlement in the Gerudo Desert. Comprised entirely of women, they were a tribe of great might and nobility. For her exceptional strength and her ability to harness lightning, Urbosa, chief of the Gerudo, was the clear choice to pilot divine beast Va Naboris. Zelda knew Urbosa thanks to her close relationship with the late Queen of Hyrule. With her party in tow, Zelda traveled to Gerudo Town to speak with her old friend. However, their journey took an unexpected turn. Oh, are we gonna have to fight the giant desert worm? This makes more sense. I thought for a second uh, the implication was they were here for Link, which would just be the funniest shit ever. I do wish for these uh, Gerudo fighters there was a little bit of variation in their visual appearance. I mean, realistically, not that big of a deal. Okay, you know what? Unfortunately, she's too small, so I can't see her patterns here. Not that it matters. Okay, where's the next one? I'm just gonna keep hitting the the biggins. So, keep an eye on the health of Zelda. I wonder. Okay. Maybe I should actually play as Zelda for once. It's not gonna happen, but maybe I probably should. Oh yeah, nothing to it. Excuse me. Holy shit, there's lots of them. Like I I was kind of hoping that the Gerudo fights, uh, at least in this case, would be a smaller handful of, like, very expert fighters, as opposed to just a giant horde of twins. This is honestly disconcerting now that I think about it. Trying to get the flurry rush on the Gerudo captains. Oh, yeah. to it. But I'm not doing the greatest job of it. Okay, let's go let's go hit the other ones before they just kill Zelda. We... Zelda, what are you doing? Now, I realize threatening to bring the clap to this party. Might be a little bit in poor taste. How dare you! Oh yeah! Damn! But gosh, is it mighty! 
I just wiped out everyone here. Let's see. But all the monsters you've been fighting don't look different. Yeah, but they're monsters. Like, I can at least kind of understand making all the monsters look the same. They just switch up their hairdos a little bit and, like, you know, some of their armor. That'd be all good. You dare face the mighty bowling man? I... You gotta imagine some of them are actually just dead after all of this. There's... There's no way you survived this, right? Incoming! this! Nowhere are they all women. Nope! Every Gerudo, with the exception of, like, Ganondorf and maybe one or two other individuals throughout their history, uh, every, every Gerudo is, in fact, female. Uh, Ganon is specifically, like, a, a once in multiple lifetimes occurrence within the Gerudo race. Normally, they, uh, they seek out, I guess, males of the other races of Hyrule? It's over! Yeah, once every hundred years. I still would love to s play some, like, Legend of Zelda games that don't involve Zelda or Link. Like, how cool would it be if, like, uh, we started getting some Zelda games that don't involve, like, uh, Ganon at all, or Ganon's not strictly a bad guy? Incoming. Or... You know, one of the other, you know, one in a hundred Gerudo men that isn't Ganon. Unless it is Ganon every hundred years, but like, there's no way the world survives that. That's the way! Ganon protagonist, kind of. I mean, I've advocated for this a couple of times over the years, where it's like, it would be really cool to see them mix it up a little bit. And they already have been, somewhat. But I also mean like, mix it up narratively. Because there's a lot you can do to, like, really expand kind of the lore of the races and whatnot. Uh, in a way that would make them slightly more interesting. Or at least, I don't know. I got nothing against Legend of Zelda's current incarnations for the most part. But, like, you could do some really cool stuff if, like... Ganon isn't just the bad guy. Like, shades of gray it a little bit. And so... The high... Uh, I... Okay. I, I've definitely floated this idea before. But, like... What if... What if, you know, Ganon's not just immediately Calamity Man... Evil dude. You know, the usual business. And what if instead... He's just the leader of the Gerudo and the Hylians attack first. Thwarting your destiny, of course. <laughs> Princess Zelda. <laughs> I came back as quickly as I could. <gasps> Not exactly what I expected to find. Abosa? I hope you're not hurt, little bird. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, yes, he quarters of Mordecai. You've got some nerve thinking you can go toe to toe with Master Koga! Uh, 
I'll show you. Hey, Yiga, assemble! Me excluded, of course. Yeah. What? Okay, so she's got a lightning gauge. Oh, this might be kind of fun. Okay, so we have to charge her batteries. repeatedly so it looks like she charges automatically on her own but it's much faster for her to charge this way okay anyway just to finish kind of what I was talking about she's actually pretty fun I like her lightning abilities uh, oh and her meter goes back up if you wreck a dude. Got it. Uh, let's see. But, yeah, now that the, uh... Now that the Calamity Pact or whatever is is done with What's-His-Face from Skyward Sword, I really need to actually sit down and, and play Skyward Sword. It's... I... Well, well. I love the Zelda games. Let's see. So we know about that. Oh, you know what we haven't done yet? Bombs. Okay, so that's how that works. There we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I love the Legend of Zelda games, but they're kind of hard hard for me to beat just due to their general length. I think that's that's honestly like a uh, a rule for a lot of games. It's like any time a game is longer than like 20 hours, I usually just cannot play it normally. Generally. Uh, let's see, but I cer certainly would love to go back and actually do like a, a full fr franchise-ish playthrough of the Zelda games. Maybe what I should do is just commit to beating like one of one or two Zelda games per like winter. Wow, okay, that works. Skyward Sword never finished it, couldn't deal with the controls. I... I didn't mind the controls too much. They were definitely weird. I would love to see Nintendo, specifically for Skyward Sword, I would love for them to... to remaster that one. Uh... But with non-motion controls. Okay. So I think that costs electricity unless I kill a bunch of enemies. And then it's not so bad. Got it. But yeah, optional motion controls. Yeah, I can see that working. It just, uh, oops. Actually, you. There we go. Like, if Nintendo ever got into VR, I would say motion controls... I, I would say motion controls could work. We Well, that was fun. The weirdest part about Skyward Sword is it's supposed to be the beginning. That's part of the reason why I want to play it specifically so much. I also felt like it had a really lovely art style. That it's a... It's a bit of a tragedy. 
Oh. Okay, there we go. It's a it's a bit of a tragedy that that's the one that specifically is hardest to get a hold of. At least nowadays, just because it's like, it looks lovely. It had some really interesting plot implications. Okay. I like her. The charging sword mechanic is kind of interesting. And, like, her weak point slash is probably the strongest of them. Just due to that heavy AoE there. But I think when it comes down to it... I'm on it. Back to the main man. He's just a one-man AoE machine. It's so good. It's a wonder you're missing a big part of the lightning. Okay. I think the, the main point I'm just trying to make here is that the lightning is fiddly. It is fiddly, and I don't necessarily have a, uh... I don't have anything against it. It's just like, look at Daruk, and tell me that this is not beautiful. Uh, when you see sparks fly, press that to insta-charge. I mean, I could do that. I could do that. I like how the Yiga clan is just a bunch of garbage jobbers and nothing more. to throw bombs at it initially or am I supposed to throw bombs at it later? I forget. Yeah, it's over. Well, that actually did do damage to it. I wonder. Enjoy bomb. Oh. Okay, so I'm supposed to freeze him or something when he starts doing stuff. Avoid fighting with the Mulduga. Why? Cryonis! Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Why avoid fighting with the Mulduga? saying that I can't beat it? Because I feel judged for this. That's... That, that, is it... Oh, it wanted me to use the bomb there. It's over. S 
Momo Iceman. There we go. How much damage does this do here? Punches. What about the what about the clap? Can you handle it? Uh, I mean, it's it good. It's good damage. Oh, he down though. Fighting the Mulduga. Is it time for icy business? Yes, it is! I'm sure when I beat the Mulduga, it, I just get resources. I, I think you're just not really supposed to fight the Mulduga because it's hard. But it's not hard. This Mulduga is trash fire compared to Breath of the Wild. It did do a bunch of damage to me. Like, I'll grant that, but... 